vicious science. Today, let's dissect the Gurnard. This is the Gurnard. It may look ordinary, but when it swims, its blue wings unfurl. And the most astonishing fact about them is, they're fish that possess legs. They crawl on the seabed with six legs, and swim as if they are flying through the sea. Hence, they are dubbed the butterflies of the ocean. So today, we shall delve into the anatomy of this mysterious fish. We have prepared a gurnard. Upon close inspection of their body, firstly, the three pairs of legs are the most distinctive feature. Fish do not possess separate legs in addition to fins. So, what exactly are these structures? In reality, these are not actual legs but are modified parts of fins. Looking behind the pectoral fin, there are bone-like structures known as fin ray. In Gurnard, three of these are separated to resemble the appearance of legs. This region also functions as a sensory organ, playing a role in detecting prey hidden within the seabed. Fascinating, isn't it? Another significant characteristic is their pectoral fin that unfold like wings. They are not very noticeable when folded, but when spread, they are quite spectacular. This serves to intimidate predators. The dorsal fins, pelvic fins, anal fin and caudal fins do not significantly differ from those of other fish species. Next, let's focus and listen carefully. They produce a unique sound similar to that of a frog. To understand how they generate these sounds, we will dissect them. First, we prepare the dissection board and secure the gurnard with dissection pins. In fish, the internal organs are located between the anus and gills. So we carefully cut through this area and then trim the surrounding muscles. This is what the inside of a gurnard looks like. At the very top is the liver. This is the liver. After removing the liver, I extracted and laid out the digestive tract. This part here is the esophagus that connects to the mouth, and this section attached to the esophagus is the stomach. The section between the stomach and intestines is the pyloric cecca, and the intestine stretches all the way to the anus. Isolating the stomach of the gurnard, and then slicing it open. There's something inside. Upon cleaning, it turns out to be a small crab. Gurnard live by preying on crustaceans and polychaetes on the seafloor. Hence the discovery of a small crab inside the stomach. Next, after the digestive tract is removed, there's an oddly shaped part that comes into view. If you detach it, it looks like this. Firstly, the part surrounding this area is the gonad, specifically the ovary. After removing the gonad, the remaining section is where the gurnard produces frog-like sounds. It has a rather fascinating structure, doesn't it? However, this isn't a unique feature found only in gurnard. It's the air bladder, an organ that regulates buoyancy in fish. Cutting the air bladder open, we see this cross section. This part here is the air bladder, and beneath it, a pair of muscles, known as sonic muscles, are situated, encircling the air bladder. The sounds they make are produced by these muscles contracting, creating noise in the air bladder. The exact reason they produce sounds hasn't been fully determined, but it is commonly known that they are most vocal during the breeding season. For the rest of the internal organs of the fish, please refer to other fish dissection videos. This is the end of video for today. If you've enjoyed watching, please consider subscribing.